This is part three of Applied Chemistry, lesson 1.01. All right, so we got as far as setting up our fractions, and we are trying to find moles of gold because that's my only unit I have left. So you multiply everything across the top, divide by what's on the bottom, and you get 5 times 10 to the 25th divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And put that in your calculator. And we want to write our answer to hundredths, so 83.028. Now this is my hundredths place, so does the 8 make the 2 round up or stay the same? It rounds up, so my answer is 83.03. So 83.03, and what would my units be? In other words, what were we trying to find? We are trying to find moles of AU. I cannot stress units enough because we're going to start doing these where we have like five fractions in a row and the only way to do them is to have your units. All right, one more to do together. How many moles are made up by 2.1 times 10 to the 26 atoms of gold? Again, hit pause. See if you can do this one on your own and then check your answer with me. All right, so the first step is write down what you are given. So we're going to start with 2.1 times 10 to the 26 over, oh, my mouse is not wanting to write for me. All right, let's try this way, over 1. But I'm not done. I have to write what it is. And so it is atoms of AU. All right, and then our next fraction, what has to be the unit on the bottom of this next fraction. It has to be atoms of a U because again, we need to have our units cancel. All right, and what are we converting to? We're converting to a mole. And so how many atoms are in one mole? Well, it is always 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And so we're going to put that in our calculator. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put it into our calculator. So again, I'm just going to click down here to bring my previous equation up so I don't have to retype everything. And this time we wanted 2.1 and 10 to the 26 divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And we want our answer to hundredths. So our final answer is 348.72. And what's my units? Moles, uh-oh, but I forgot to write up AU here, so I gotta double check my problem now. See, if you don't write down your units every time, you have to double check. Yep, we just wanted AU. Because sometimes we convert to different chemicals. We'll get to that. All right, that should be all. Now, you do need to do the worksheet. You need to check the answers on your own. And if you have questions, please let me know. If you get them wrong on your worksheet, do them again an hour later or the next day. You have to keep practicing this. Then when you understand how to do it, go ahead and take the quiz. After the quiz, again, check with me. If you get any wrong, you need to understand how to do this because we're going to spend two weeks doing nothing but problems like this. And I want to help you, and I know you can do it. It just takes some practice. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.